Guys, okay, okay. How, how was I to know that the jury that Tasha was called to serve was on the same case as yours, Boris? Eating roadkill on the highway. Your case was eating roadkill on the highway, and you didn't tell me that in addition to the roadkill charge, you bit the officer in the leg. That's so against the law. I mean, I... How can I give you support, moral support, when you bit a cop? And the wound showed all four sets of your teeth. Oh, come on. Oh, Tasha, I'm so, I'm so really so sorry that I did, it just didn't dawn on me that the jury that you were going to be on was for Boris's trial. I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, 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 Boris, calm, stop that, Boris. You had, she had to find you guilty, otherwise if she would have voted not guilty and they found out that you and her were cousins, you'd both be in the slammers right now. I just can't understand why they didn't realize you were, too, were related in the, begin, in the beginning anyway. I, I, just, I guess no one asked because you, you do both look so different. Yeah. Okay, well, that's it. Okay, it's over, Boris. You'll have to do the 90 hours of community work on the road crew cleaning uh, and, uh, and attend the five anger management meetings. You're, you're lucky your fine was just $100 and the medical bills for the officer you bit. No, 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 I'm not going to lend you the money. No, no, let's get on with the show, okay? S sorry, Tasha. Boris, you get under my skin sometime. Okay, hello, everyone, and welcome to Hooked on Carnival, or help me, I'm confused. You, not me. Each episode, we hope to answer some of your questions to help improve your carnival glass collecting experience. This week, we've enlisted a road crew supervisor and EMT trained in animal bites and a Charlie Sheen anger management moderator. So with no further ado, let's get started. Natasha, first question, please. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I know you feel bad. I, I understand, Natasha. It wasn't easy voting guilty, but you just had to do it. Okay, here's the question. It says, I found a wonderful piece of caramel glass, but I can't tell if it's older or newer. Can you help? Of course we can help you. Sure, this is a very normal challenge. It is very difficult to determine when a piece of carnival glass has been made if you are not familiar with the patterns. Okay, the patterns is important to understand if it's old or if it's new. One of the easiest ways to identify newer carnival glass that's contemporary, 1960 to now, the present, is by looking at the bottom. If the bottom of the piece is iridized, it is probably, probably contemporary. The vintage glass vintage prior to 1930 was usually held in a snap while it was being sprayed with the iridescent mixture so the bottom wasn't sprayed. Let's take a look at over here you can see what a snap is. Here's a, here's a, 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 a piece of carnival glass. This is old, okay, and when this came out of the mold it was grabbed by a snap, okay, and the snap would grab the bottom of the piece of glass and held it while they, while they sprayed the metallic salts on the piece of carnival glass on the inside and very often on the outside also. The trouble is the snap actually covered up the bottom here so when the mixtures were sprayed on for the iridescent the bottom was not covered by any iridescent, uh, iridescent materials. Okay? So the bottom just looks like standard glass where the iridescence mostly on the inside and on the outer outer part of the piece but not on the base where it was covered by the snap okay in it I'm sorry I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. 
We pray for her. <laughs> On a newer piece, okay, the piece was iridized in a different way. The entire base was covered with the metallic salts, the iridizing salts. And the interior of it was also the same thing uh, covered there too. So if you look at the base of a new piece, again this is a new piece, you can see that the entire base is iridized. Okay? So that's one of the main, main ways of telling whether something is older and, or new. And if, also, if you can learn the patterns, you can easily determine if it was original or a reissue. Okay? Sometimes a reissue may have the same pattern, but it's newer. Okay? It's newer, so you have to look at the different patterns sometimes to tell if they, if they did an older version and then also did a newer version later on. Okay. Okay, and there you have it. Hopefully we've been able to answer your questions and help your kind of glass collecting experience. Tasha, do we have any comments from a reviewer this week? No comments? Okay, well, hopefully we'll get some more over the next week or so too here, okay? So keep your letters and comments coming in. You can send them to me at drglass at hookedoncarnival.com. You can see that along the bottom of your screen. Also, please run right out and join your local Carnival Glass Club. They're the best place to get hooked on Carnival. For those who live in or near St. Petersburg, Florida, think about joining the Tampa Bay Carnival Glass Club. They're a great club, and a membership is no more than a large, large bowl of seafood gumbo. Again, you can see their website along the bottom of your screen. So that's our show for today. Wave goodbye to the viewers. Oh, come on, you, t you two got to... You, you got to resolve this, man, inner anger stuff here. Well, uh, well, we'll get it straightened out. Okay, take care. We'll see you next week, guys.